Good morning children. Welcome to the second session of Unit 1 Exploring Symbols. Children, I hope you enjoyed doing both the activities that were given in the last session and had a fun time with your family. As I had mentioned in the last session, today we are going to do a beautiful poem by Rabindranath Tagore. But before that, let's do a recap of session 1. Let's do the recap in the form of questions and answers. First one, when and where was Rabindranath Tagore born? Answer, Rabindranath Tagore was born in 1861 in Calcutta. Next, at what age did he start writing poetry and at what age did he publish his first poem? Answer. Tagore started to write poetry when he was only 8 years old and he published his first poem when he was only 16 years old. Next. What was Tagore's pen name? Answer. Tagore's pen name was Bhanu Simha, which means Sun Lion. Next. What is a symbol? Answer. A symbol is an image object or a word that represents something else just as sun lion represented Tagore and your pen name represents you. Next, what is a pen name? Answer, a false or an assumed name used by a writer instead of his or her real name is called a pen name. Next, who wrote our national anthem? Answer, Rabindranath Tagore wrote our national anthem. Next, Name a few national symbols of our country. Answer. The national symbols of our country are National flag, National anthem, that is Jana Gana Mana, National song, that is Vande Mataram. National emblem, that is, lion capital of Ashoka. National motto, that is, Satya Meva Jayate, which means, truth alone triumphs. National currency, Indian rupee. National animal, Bengal Tiger National Bird Peacock National Fruit Mango and National Flower Lotus The last question What do the three colors and the wheel in our national flag symbolize? 
आंसर द नेशनल फ्लैग ऑफ इंडिया इज अ हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्राई कलर ऑफ डीप सैफरन दैट इज केसरी एट द टॉप वाइट इन द मिडल एंड डार्क ग्रीन एट द बॉटम इन इक्वल प्रपोर्शन द सैफरन कलर इंडिकेट्स द स्ट्रेंथ एंड करेज of the country the white middle band indicates truth and peace the ashoka chakra is also called the wheel of duty the 24 spokes represent 24 qualities of a person in other words these spokes can be termed as the 24 religious paths made for humans all the paths mentioned in the ashoka chakra will lead any country on the path of progress The last green band shows the fertility growth and auspiciousness of our country. Children please go through these question answers thoroughly and revise them. Now let's continue with our today's session. Unit 1 Exploring Symbols Activity 2 Read the poem carefully to yourself Mark any word that you don't understand Use a dictionary the internet or your classmates who may help you to understand each word and idea in the poem where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms toward perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake poet rabindranath tagore you can see that a few words have been given in the box below try to find the meanings of these words now let's do a summary of the poem and try to understand what rabindranath tagore wants to convey to us from this poem summary of the poem where the mind is without fear is a thought provoking poem by nobel laureate rabindranath tagore an indian writer 
Tagore is a poet and a dramatist. When Tagore composed this poem, his mind was confined by the chains of slavery like any other common citizen of India because India was under the clutch of the British rule where freedom was like daydreaming. This poem is written in the form of a prayer to God urging him to awaken the countrymen to fight for their freedom. Tagore wants his countrymen to awake and enjoy the life of full dignity and honour. His countrymen would not be superstitious or believer of blind faith. They would lead an enlightened and educated life. He wishes that the people are honest, open-minded and industrious. Only then they can stretch their arms towards perfection and the nation will achieve success. They need to use reason over blind faith. They need to accept new thoughts and ideas. Tagore requests God to free his country from manipulation, corruption and slavery. He yearns for a country where the people are free to express their ideas and thoughts. Our country is dominated by caste, creed, superstitious beliefs and biased ideas. Tagore earnestly appeals to God to enlighten the people to shed their narrow mentality and become broad-minded. He urges God to liberate his countrymen from the fear of oppression and direct them towards progress and prosperity. In this poem, Tagore expresses the intensity of the feeling of freedom. This poem is universal in its appeal and envisions the heaven of freedom and a happy future for mankind. I hope this summary was clear to you. Now, let's do some activities from the textbook. Take a look at this activity. Match the words in column A with their meanings given in column B. Here is the solution. The first one. Fragments means pieces broken off or detached from a complete portion. Next, striving means to labor hard. Next, dreary means cheerless. Next, domestic means related to family affairs. Next, tireless means without rest or sleep. The last one, desert means a waterless or isolated area 
or land. Let's do activity 3 from the textbook. Look carefully at where the mind is without fear. The poet is talking to someone. What words help you to understand whom the poet is talking to? The lines from the poem are Where the mind is led forward by thee and into that heaven of freedom my father. Here the words thee and my father let us know that the poet is talking to God. Next, the subjects of the first three lines of the poem are underlined below. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Where knowledge is free. Where the world has not been broken. What's the subject of the fourth line? The fourth line from the poem is Where words come out from the depth of the truth. Here the subject is words. Next, the poem says Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. What is lost in this line of the poem? Answer. Here, lost means to be confused or uncertain. Tagore urges his countrymen to clear their minds to think and reason and not to be superstitious. I hope this was clear to you. Let's go to the next activity. Activity 4 You know that adjectives are words that describe nouns. Nouns are words that name people, places, things and ideas. Look carefully at the poem and underline all the adjectives you find. How many adjectives did you find? Write the number here. I request all of you to do this activity at home. The solution will be discussed in our next session. Let's take a look at activity 5. This unit is called exploring symbols. A symbol is a word image or object that represents something else. Just as sun lion represented, that is, stood for Tagore and your pen name represents you. Symbols are very common in Poetry and Stories Tagore used them often. In the line Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. Tagore tells us that reason is a stream. Tagore thinks of reason 
as if it is a stream. The stream is a symbol for reason. What is another line where we see that Tagore uses a symbol in this way? Answer Into that heaven of freedom. Here Tagore thinks of freedom as heaven. I hope the summary of the poem and these activities were simple enough for you to understand. I hope the poem and the activities were simple for you to understand. That's all for today's session. Thank you and have a great day.